North of New England, as the workday ends, Tom Stafford presents Alexei Leonov spruce tree seeds to be planted in Russian soil, a gift from the American people to the people of the Soviet Union to provide a living memorial to the flight. The spacecraft commanders also join the two halves of an Apollo-Soyuz medal. One half launched with Soyuz and the other half with Apollo to symbolize the link up in orbit. When time comes to retire to their own craft, it's das Vidanya and goodbye. The joint experiments would resume the following day, but only by voice. The next face-to-face -face meeting would be in Moscow in September. This is Apollo Control. At acquisition here, we should have confirmation of undocking and a uh, real-time television picture of uh, Soyuz from Apollo as it backs away. Preparation for the solar eclipse experiment. Solar eclipse occurs briefly and infrequently on Earth, giving scientists too short a time for adequate study. But with two manned spacecraft and proper maneuvering, a solar eclipse can be simulated. Thus, with Apollo blotting out the solar disk, the Soyuz crew train their cameras on the solar corona, recording pictures for later study. They dock again, providing yet another test of the compatible docking mechanism. Apollo Houston, uh, it was a beautiful docking. We had a good picture. We can see Italy coming up in the Mediterranean right now. Apollo Houston through Ads, and we're hearing your calls. Uh, Roger, we've docked. Everything was on time, though. After some three hours, the two spacecraft separate for the last time, and Apollo maneuvers into position for the final joint experiment ultraviolet absorption the measurement of oxygen and nitrogen particles in the upper atmosphere. Apollo directs light beams of special wavelengths to a reflector mounted on Soyuz. The beams bounce back to Apollo and are there analyzed by a spectrometer. It is the first such measurement by this method. The results have given investigators a clearer knowledge of outer atmospheric makeup, including the quantities of ozone in the upper atmosphere. Termination of the experiment signals the end of the joint phase of the mission, and the separation between spacecraft grows more distant with each successive orbit. Apollo will fly solo for four more days, but the crew of Soyuz makes ready for return to Earth. Good morning again. Jim Hartz and Alan Shepard from the Mission Control Center in Houston, Texas, live this morning. The Soviet spacecraft is about to land in the Soviet Union. The Soyuz recovery a focal point of media coverage is typical of worldwide interest in the mission. Not since the first landing on the moon six years earlier has the Houston News Center seen this much press activity. Beneath its single striped parachute, Soyuz settles to Earth in Soviet Central Asia. Retro rockets cushion the impact. Three memorable years have ended. Alexei Leonov and Valery Kubasov have secured yet another place in the history of spaceflight. Apollo continues in orbit, carrying out the remainder of the 27 experiments in space sciences, life sciences, and applications. Among the less notable passengers aboard are numbers of killifish, sealed in seawater, they are in key stages of maturity. Scientists want to pursue an earlier investigation in which fish taken into orbit on Skylab had orientation difficulties in zero gravity, while those that were hatched in orbit adapted quite well. On return to Earth, the specimens will be compared to similar stages of Earth-raised fish. Through highly refined instruments, they look out in our galaxy and beyond a new source of radiation is found, the extreme ultraviolet, 
which many scientists thought would remain forever invisible. Others felt it didn't exist at all. The discovery ranks high in importance and may open a new branch of astronomy for studying the universe. They attempt to locate the sources of soft X-rays. They probe the temperature and abundance of the interstellar medium. They test ways of long-term monitoring of aerosol particles in the atmosphere, which may have profound effects on our weather and environment. They look back on Earth on those features that will yield the greatest results, geological features the oceans, the deserts, pollution patterns, weather formations, all the phenomena that comes under the general heading of Earth resources. As the mission comes down to the wire, the docking module is jettisoned, and it too becomes part of an experiment. With the two instrumented spacecraft close together in the same orbit, it is possible to measure their relative movements caused by variations in Earth's gravity. The technique provides a means of accurately mapping the Earth's mass structure on a global basis. Final. Go. Guido. Go. Retro. Go flight. GNC. Go flight. Apollo Keep Control, go. 99 go. hours, 29 minutes, go. phase go. elapsed time. Go. Flight Director, go. Frank Edward. Littleton. Go. Pulsing his flight controllers. Ecom reports everything looks fine. Go for the burn. Okay, Crip, everything's up. Great ship up here. The only thing we're concerned about is that you've got all your splashdown parties coordinated over. Well, I've uh, been working on that. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> In Pacific waters west of Hawaii, Apollo reaches the end of its journey and the end of an era. During re-entry, gas from the attitude thrusters had entered the command module, creating a hazard. Quick action by the crew in recognizing and correcting the problem avoided a potentially tragic incident. They were later hospitalized in Hawaii for observation and treatment. The symptom cleared in a few days, and the crew was released. The spirit and the letter of the 1972 joint agreement had been dramatically fulfilled. Hopefully it represents a prelude to the future, to a time when all mankind will share the work and the dividends of space. The space shuttle is a major step in that direction. The shuttle will transport into orbit a European development called Space Lab. With 10 countries of Europe sharing construction and cost, Men and women of many nationalities will be able to apply their creative talents aboard Space Lab for the benefit of the world community. But for Space Lab, for Shuttle, for all the cooperative space efforts to come, the groundwork has been laid by Apollo Soyuz, the model for the future.